God's ways. Isaiah 55, 9, God says, As high as the heavens are above the earth, so high are my ways and my thoughts above your ways and thoughts. You know, God's ways are not our ways, but this we know. He reveals through Scripture and through His Spirit a consistency of character. And I say consistency. He makes sense. God made sense and and he does make sense he's not inconsistent it's absolutely extraordinary to me through 66 books of the bible multiple authors different seasons different times of revelation we have a consistency of revelation we know that god is good we know that he hates evil so when we talk about god's ways not being our ways. This is not to be confused with, uh, you know, when we might pray that God um, protects and, and, and something happens that's bad. And we go, well, you know, God could have protected in that situation and, and, and he didn't. So God must have purposed this, this bad thing. And we just know that his ways are different and higher. No, 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 no. God hates evil. He hates it. He calls us to stand up against it. Uh, Psalm 94, 16, who will take a stand for me against the evildoer? Um, John 10, 10, it, it is the thief. It is the devil who comes to steal, kill, and destroy, not God. He came to give life. So when we talk about God's ways being higher than our ways, it, it's, it's not that we confuse him with purposing things that are wrong and making meaning out of them. It, that, that's not what we do. We, we, we don't go there. God hates evil. And so as we receive God's revelation and the way he does things, um, here's what I suggest. Declare them. If, if you see something that God has done in your life, declare it. There's power in the tongue, Proverbs 18, 21. There is uh, Jesus' words were spirit and life, John 6, 63. The word, the spoken word is powerful. Romans 10, 9, we confess with our mouth and believe in our hearts. And there's a consummating experience of salvation there. Um, we have to profess the word of our testimony, Revelation 12, 11. It overcomes the dragon, the devil. It, it, it pairs up with the finished work of God, the blood of the Lamb, and with our testimony in heart and word. Remember, God is word. And that word became flesh, John 1, 14, and was Jesus Christ, the, the, the living word. So when you see things and know things that are true of God, of God, declare them, put them back into word. That's how we will start to anchor down what God has done. And as we anchor down what God has done, we, we, we state claims. We say, he did this, he did this, praise his name, he did this. So that as we petition God, we, we kind of come to see and understand his voice. John 10, 27, we know his voice. And we begin to see and understand his ways. Why? Because we've been thanking him for his ways. So we tune our ear. We calibrate our eyes. So in Philippians 4, 6 to 7, famous verses about not worrying about anything, uh, uh, petitioning God, present your request to God with thanksgiving. Why? Because when you're thanking God for things that are of God, your, your, your mind is being renewed and transformed. Romans 12, 1 to 2. You're, you're starting to um, calibrate uh, our, our vision of where God is, how God works, what God does. His ways are higher. And the way to access them is to take hold of his revelations and bang them down. Say, God did this. God did this. We know that God is this. And as we, as we hammer down his revelation and his word, we start to speak his language. We start to see life the way God sees life. His ways are not our ways. Now, I'll leave you with this anecdote. Um, Acts 10, um, an angel appears to Cornelius. And he tells Cornelius to send for Peter 
for a message. So Cornelius sends to Peter, and in Acts 10.33, when Peter is there, Cornelius is saying, hey, uh, we're all here now to listen to what God has given you to tell us. Now, if the angel of God appeared to Cornelius and communicated to him all these instructions about sending for Peter, why could the angel not just have communicated the message? Well, you can speculate all day long, um, or we can just go, wow, this is how God works. He works through people. He, he, the angel revealed to this man to send to another man, and that's what God did, and that's what God does. And so we see from what God did what God does, and we start to see you know, how God works. Um, it's higher than our ways. Isaiah 55, 9. That doesn't mean God mixes light and darkness. It means he reveals himself, and that's how we're going to get to know him. Uh, I, hope, I hope there's something in there that cracks you into a new way of accessing and understanding God. Receive his revelation, both in his word and in your life and in other people's lives. And when you see what God has done, his ways are higher than our ways. Declare them. Start to hammer down that language and learning it. God bless you.